Hello there. Today we will see the suction. We have two types of suction, central suction and the portable suction. Portable suction we can take and move somewhere at the sides of patient, but the central suction is at fixed at the head end of the patient. So here uh, we are having a container which will be connected to the tubings and to the uh, suction port it will be connected along with your pressure setups. So this is the empty container and it is connected to the central suction. Here uh, on this we can set up the suction pressures based on the ages of patient uh, and this tubing will be connected to your disposable container, uh, disposable back of the container. So here how you are going to replace it is like this. The empty bag you will take, you will fill it in your empty container, then you will fix it. Make it tight fix so that no air leak should, must be there. Uh, it must be completely tightly fixed up. Okay, so this is the tubing as a connection in between your patient suction catheter as well as your suction container. So here one end will go and fix on your suction container. Uh, okay, as I said, if there is air leak, uh, suction is a negative pressure. If there is any air leak, it will not able to apply the negative pressure to drain the suctions out. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to be keeping very tightly fixed. So this is how you will be placing it in the uh, patient side uh, on the walls hanging because if it is hanging it will not disturb you during the time of procedure so this is the suction catheters what you will be using so different fringes are there while selecting the uh, suction catheters you need to apply the formula if ET tube or tracheostomy is there and uh, half of the size of your uh, ET or the tracheostomy tube you will be selecting so this is the 16 French you will be using for the adult patient and uh, 6 to 10 Frenches you will be using for the pediatric patient so this green color is of the pediatric patient suction catheter okay uh, for oral suction we are having the yankure suction we do it for the oral purpose uh, then here we in during uh, with the suction procedure we are having of two types it's of open suction and the closed suction uh, this the catheters is for the open suction we need to follow the sterile techniques during the procedure uh, then another we have the closed suction in that no need to, to follow the sterility of the procedure because it is already uh, the suction catheter is in the cover so you know you no need to, to follow the sterility during that procedure so the contraindications for this procedure is patient having severely bradycardia and chance for bleeding uh, the care what you need to take care for the patient is uh, prop up the position, pre-oxygenate the position, uh, pre-oxygenate the patient, continuous monitoring of patient prior and during and after the suction procedure as well. Uh, 30 minutes after the feeding, the patient should be done with the suction. Uh, not soon after following the feeding, it may lead to aspiration and complications to the patient.